हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ईपीजी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर आयुषी पालीवाल फ्रॉम यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ डेली सो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द मॉड्यूल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ कार्बन नैनो ट्यूब फ्रॉम द पेपर physics at nano scale the learning objectives of this module are first the electronic structure of carbon nano tube including the energy dispersion of two dimensional graphite will be discussed second the energy dispersion of armchair and zigzag nano tubes will be discussed in this module so students let us start with a basic introduction about the module the electronic structure of carbon nano tubes they can be derived by a simple tight binding calculations for the pi electrons of the carbon atoms it can be shown that electronic structure of a carbon nano tube can be either metallic or semiconducting depending on its diameter and obviously the chirality the electronic structure of a single walled nano tube can be derived simply from that of two dimensional graphite it can be shown that by using periodic boundary conditions in the circumferential direction denoted by the chiral vector ch which becomes quantized however the wave vector associated with the direction of the translational vector t or along the nano tube axis remains continuous so this results the energy bands as a set of one dimensional energy dispersion relations which are the cross sections of those for two dimensional graphite now students here we will be discussing the electronic structure of single wall nano tubes this a part corresponds to 5 0 zigzag nano tube here a1 and a2 are the lattice vectors that is the modulus of a1 is equal to the modulus of a2 equal to root 3 a where a is the carbon carbon bond length there are two atoms per unit cell shown by a and b single wall nano tubes are equivalent to cutting a strip in the graphene sheet which is shown by this blue region and rolling them up such that each carbon atom is bonded to its three nearest neighbors the creation of a n0 zigzag nano tube is shown over here now the b part shows the creation of a n n armchair nano tube c corresponds to n m chiral nano tube and the last part that is d 
represents the bonding structure of a nanotube. The n equal to 2 quantum number of carbon has 4 electrons. 3 of these electrons are bonded to its 3 nearest neighbors by sp2 bonding. The fourth electron is a pi orbital perpendicular to the cylindrical surface. When the energy dispersion relations of a two-dimensional graphite, that is E g2 2d as a function of k at line segments shifted from w w prime by mu k1 where mu varies from 0 to n minus 1 are folded so that the wave vectors parallel to k2 coincides with w w prime as shown in this figure n pairs of one dimensional energy dispersion relations that is e mu k are obtained these 1d energy dispersion relations they are given by e mu as a function of k is equal to e g 2d as a function of k multiplied by k2 by modulus of k2 plus mu k2 where mu varies from 0 to n minus 1 and k varies from minus pi by t to pi by t. This is the energy dispersion relation of a single wall nanotube. Now the n pairs of energy dispersion curves which are given by the previously discussed equation corresponds to the cross sections of the two dimensional energy dispersion surface. Now where in this surface the cuts are made on the lines of small k multiplied by capital K2 divided by the modulus of capital K2 plus mu K1. Now if for a particular Nm nanotube the cutting line passes through a K point of that two-dimensional Brillouin zone where the pi and the pi star energy bands of the two-dimensional graphite are degenerate. The one-dimensional energy bands, they have a very or a zero energy band gap. Hence, the density of states at the Fermi level has some finite value for these carbon nanotubes resulting in the metallic properties of single walled nanotube. Now if the cutting line does not pass through the K point then the carbon nanotube is expected to show the semiconducting behavior with a finite energy gap between the valence band and the conduction bands resulting in the well-known semiconducting property. So students, let us now discuss the energy dispersion of armchair and zigzag nanotubes. To obtain the energy dispersion relation, the simplest case is to consider are the nanotubes having the highest symmetry. From the figure below, we see 
the unit cells and the Brillouin zones for the highly symmetric nanotubes, namely for an armchair nanotube and a zigzag nanotube. Now, as you can see in this figure, the part of the unit cell and extended Brillouin zone in the A part is it is shown the armchair and in the B part it is shown the zigzag carbon nanotubes. Here AI and BI are the unit vectors and the reciprocal lattice vectors of two dimensional graphite respectively. In this figure the translational vector T and the corresponding reciprocal lattice vector K2 of the nanotube are shown. Under appropriate periodic boundary conditions, the energy eigenvalues for the N-N armchair nanotube can be obtained from small number of allowed wave vectors Kxq in the circumferential direction that is n multiplied by root 3 k x q multiplied by a is equal to 2 pi q where q is equal to 1 to 2 n. Now substitution of the discrete allowed values for k into the previously discussed equation for the energy dispersion for two dimensional graphite yields the energy dispersion relation EQA as a function of K for the armchair nanotube that is CH equal to NN that is E subscript Q postscript A as a function of K is equal to plus minus T multiplied by curly bracket 1 plus minus 4 cos of Q pi divided by N plus 4 cos square of Ka by 2 curly bracket close to the power half where Ka varies from minus pi to pi and Q is equal to 1 to 2n. Now here the superscript A refers to the armchair and K is a one dimensional vector in the direction of the vector capital K2 which is equal to B1 minus B2 divided by 2 corresponding to the gamma to K point vector in the two-dimensional Brillouin zone of graphite. Now continuing our discussion over the energy dispersion for armchair and zigzag nanotubes, the 1D dispersion relations that is E subscript Q superscript A as a function of K for the 5 5 armchair nanotube is shown in this figure that is the part A. The energy bands shows a large degeneracy at the zone boundary in all armchair nanotube where Ka is equal to pi so that the previously discussed equation becomes EG2D as a function of kxq comma pi by a equal to plus minus t for the 2d graphene sheet independent of zone folding and independent of n there are four carbon atoms in the unit cell out of which the two carbon atoms on the same sub lattice of a graphene sheet are symmetrically equivalent resulting in the degeneracy of the energy bands 
at the boundary of the brillant zone as shown or as it is evident from the figure that the valence band and the conduction bands for the armchair nanotube cross at a k point that is 2/3 of the distance from k is equal to 0 to the zone boundary at k equal to pi by a the crossing at the fermi level results in the energy bands symmetric for plus minus k values the degeneracy point between the valence and conduction bands at the band crossing leads to metallic property of 5 5 armchair nanotube all n n armchair nanotubes have a band degeneracy between the highest valence band and the lowest conduction band at k is equal to plus minus 2 pi by 3 a where the bands crosses the fermi level thus all armchair nanotubes are expected to exhibit the metallic conduction similar to the behavior of 2d graphene sheets the energy bands for ch is equal to n0 zigzag nanotube eq to the power 2 as a function of k can be obtained likewise by writing the periodic boundary condition on ky as n ky q a is equal to 2 pi q where q is equal to 1 to 2n to yield the 1d dispersion relations for the 4n states for the n0 zigzag nanotube denoted by the superscript z or we can say e q z as a function of k is equal to plus minus t multiplied by 1 plus minus 4 cos of root 3 k a by 2 multiplied by cos of q pi by n plus 4 cos square of q pi by n the whole to the power of 1 by 2 where k a varies from minus pi by 3 or pi by root 3 to plus pi by root 3 where q is equal to 1 to 2n so students let us summarize what we have learned in this module first the energy dispersion relations of a single walled nanotube showed that the density of states at the fermi level has a finite value for these carbon nanotubes resulting in the metallic properties of single walled nanotubes secondly the in the dispersion relations of single walled nanotube if the cutting line does not passes through a k point then the carbon nanotube is expected to show the semiconducting behavior with a finite energy gap between the valence band and the conduction band resulting in its semiconducting property thirdly the one dimensional dispersion relations for the 5 5 armchair nanotubes indicate that the energy bands shows a large degeneracy at the zone boundary lastly all armchair nanotubes they are expected to exhibit 
the metallic conduction similar to the behavior of two dimensional graphene sheets thank you